Hi, Truman Benedict Bobcats. It's Mrs. Burgess behind the camera here. Um, since I can't be with you guys every week, I'm going to start creating weekly videos that you can do when I can't bring the innovation station to you. So these will be videos that you can do during extended learning with your teacher, or if you are a program B or C student, you guys could do these projects during extended learning when you're at home. And even more exciting, if they're projects that you really like, you can always go into your modules and create them again. So for the next three weeks, we are going to be working on little origami projects. And because it's December, a lot of us are thinking about gifts. So I'm gonna do my best to create origami projects that you could give to somebody as a gift. This week, we're making bookmarks. And these little origami bookmarks are so much fun. I'm just gonna show you these three. Um, but you can go online with an adult and you can look up origami bookmarks. You could look up holiday origami bookmarks and you will get all kinds of ideas. This is just the beginning. So I'm gonna show you how to make these today and I'm gonna go through it twice. I'm gonna take you step by step. And after each step, you are more than welcome to pause the video until you get the step down. So that could be a good way to make sure that you get all the steps accomplished. All right, and the origami projects I'm gonna show you will all be with white, white computer paper. So we all have access to this. Now it's really fun if you do have origami paper. Um, origami paper is awesome. It's the right, sh um, it is the right shape for you already. It comes in lots of different colors or even patterns. So that's a really fun way to do origami. But if you don't have that, no big deal. We can always use what we have on hand. But in order to get this paper to the right size, we're gonna have to do something special to it. The first thing we're going to do is simply fold it in half. Now with origami, we're always gonna make sure that we're lining things up perfectly. Our corners are lined up, the edges of our paper are lined up. If we fold it like this and we crease that, it is just not gonna cut, cut the mustard, as they say. It will not work for origami. Um, so with origami, we're practicing being really precise and very accurate and we're folding just so. So this paper is folded in half um, and then I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do when you don't have scissors. If you take your fingernails and crease this really tight and then fold it back over the other way and crease that really tight. I use my fingernails. You can sometimes rip the paper very carefully along a solidly creased line. However, I know you all have your pencil boxes and you all have scissors, so you don't have to do it that way. Use your scissors, cut along that folded line so that you have two half sheets of paper. Now, set one aside. So we're gonna start off with just this guy. Origami always, usually origami starts with a square. This is a rectangle, this is not a square. So what we're going to do is another fold. We're gonna bring this down. So you're bringing this corner all the way down so that that edge is very lined up like that. So you're gonna have this extra bit of paper hanging off here and we've got a triangle here now. So remember all we did was we took one corner and we brought that corner to meet the flat bottom edge of our paper, okay? And this is a move that we're gonna do a lot so that we can create our origami shape that we need out of our white computer paper. So there we go. Now we're gonna trim off the extra to leave us with a square, which I'll show you in a minute. So you're just gonna cut that extra off Snip, 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 set that aside. <gasps> Ta-da, this is the perfect shape for origami. So don't worry, we're gonna do it one more time with our other sheet. So remember, right now we have a rectangle. We're gonna bring this corner all the way down there, bring it over. Now, if I fold that, we're not very precise, we're not very accurate, we don't have the shape that we want. I don't know if you could see that. So we're gonna line that up. I'm gonna wiggle it, move it until it's just right. And they're equally 
lined up right there. Mine's not perfect, but I'm gonna say good enough this one time. You know what, maybe we'll see what happens. Okay, and then we're gonna cut off the extra. Okay, so this is our first square. So we're gonna create a bookmark out of this square, and we're gonna create a bookmark out of this square. So I'm gonna have you pick two of these at the end. I will show you how to make all three, but we're just gonna pick two for today, and then maybe you can make the third one um, at another time by pulling up this video on your modules. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna turn it so that it looks like a diamond to me. And then we already have that one crease, so we'll fold it that way. There's a triangle. Guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna open it back up and now we're gonna turn the paper so it's still a, tri uh, still a diamond, but now this line is kind of pointing at me or pointing at you. And this time we're gonna fold our diamond the other way. So this will give us a T shape. And all these folds that we're doing right now, they are giving us guidelines for other folds that we're gonna make. And I'm making those creases really nice and um, folded, folded very tight. Okay, so now I have a diamond, I'm, or a triangle, I have a triangle. I'm gonna leave the triangle, and I'm gonna take this corner, and I'm gonna bring this corner to meet this one up here. So watch what I do. Taking this corner to touch that corner, and we have a guideline right down the middle. So I'm kind of lining, lining up this crease with my guideline. And this corner is meeting this corner. And I'm gonna crease it very nicely. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So if you need to pause at any point, go ahead and pause that video and make sure that everybody is getting that. So we're taking this corner up to meet that corner and this crease is going to line up with my lovely guideline running right down the middle. Okay, so now we're gonna do it on the other side. I'm gonna take this corner up to meet that corner. I'm gonna make sure the crease is lined up with my guide in the middle and I'm gonna flatten it out. Now, at this point, you're getting very frustrated and things aren't perfectly lined up. I don't want you to worry too much, okay? I made one that was really sloppy just to see if it would work, and it will work, even if everything isn't perfectly lined up, okay? So this does work as a lovely bookmark, I promise you. So don't get too worried, and also we're gonna do it again. So if your first one doesn't work out the way that you want it to, don't be frustrated. We're gonna try again. So, these two pieces we folded up, we're gonna unfold them, I'm sorry. You just did all that work for nothing. <laughs> just kidding. So now, you're gonna bring this piece and pull it away from that piece, and you're bringing it down, bringing that corner down to the bottom. Not going over, not going over. We're lining it up perfectly. We're not going way up here. We're lining it up right at the bottom of the paper. So I could use one finger there. I'm gonna go like this. Now you see that this piece is still poking up back there, right? So we had a triangle and that triangle had a back piece of paper and a front piece. And I only want the front, okay? So I want the front piece and I'm folding it down now this little wing over here that I told you to undo, we didn't really do it for nothing because watch this. We're gonna fold it over and then we're gonna poke this. It's just gonna jump inside. So this corner is gonna jump over and around and we're gonna tuck it down. Tuck, 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 tuck. And we're gonna crease it, okay? So this side, is gonna fold over and this corner up here is gonna jump inside of the little pocket pocket pouch. Look, we've got a pouch in there. This corner is gonna jump in there and I'm gonna curl it, curl it, curl it, curl it, tuck it in there and then I'm gonna crease it. 
and you're never gonna believe this. We're done. We're done. So you're gonna get your book, and we're gonna see. It works. You have a lovely bookmark right there. But now, we probably wanna make it look cute. So I'm gonna show you how to make these look extra fun as well. But you know what? Let's do that one more time before we start decorating. if we can get a little closer. Maybe clear off. All right, so let's see if we can get a little bit closer this time. Okay, so we have our square that we had originally created and we had already folded it up once this way. So one of our guideline creases is already there. But now we're gonna turn it. So we still have a diamond shape. This time the line is pointing at my belly button and I'm gonna turn this diamond into a triangle again. So we're just folding it in half. Crease, crease. Okay, and then we're gonna bring each of our wings up so this side, this corner, is gonna come up to meet that corner, just like this. And my crease is going along my center guideline there. Make a nice edge. Do the same thing over here. So I'm gonna bring this up. This corner meets that corner. This crease is centered along my guideline. And push and then open it back up. Now we're gonna bring the front flap of our triangle down, and this corner is gonna come down here to the bottom of my paper. And we're not gonna to go too far, and we're not gonna to go too short. We're gonna meet it, have the tip of the triangle meet the bottom of the base. I'm gonna hold it there, and use my other finger to make those creases. And then we're gonna bring this little chicken wing over here, up, over, and it's gonna jump into the pouch. Jump into the pouch. And then this is a little tough, like it doesn't wanna line up very well, so you've gotta kind of push and prod and roll and um, just make it fit as well as you can. And then push everything down, crease it up, crease it up, use those fingernails, and do the same thing on this side. This little chicken wing over here, it's gonna go up, and it's gonna jump into the pouch. I don't know what kind of chicken wing goes into a pouch. It's our kangaroo chicken hybrid, I guess. All right, so I pushed and pulled it in, and we're gonna crease it, and that's it. We've got two awesome bookmarks. So now on to the coloring. Okay, let's see. Oh, and actually I have three. This is one that I made out of um, some recycled paper. So if at your house you have some old paper laying around, um, you could recycle it, upcycle it. So you could use paper that has something, you know, some paper you were gonna toss, you can use it to make origami. It's a nice way of recycling. Okay, so we have one, two, Donna, and this will be my third. So these will be the ones that we draw and color on. Okay, so I, like to have something underneath me when I color. So this isn't very big, but it will work. So first we're gonna do the Yeti. It's a little Yeti. Um, and all we're gonna do for him, he's pretty easy. Now my Yeti, I thought that his eyes were up a little too high. So this time I'm gonna try to make his eyes a little closer to the bottom of that triangle. So I'm just gonna make two big circles. And they're kind of connected. See that? So it's almost like I made a C and then a backward C. And then I'm going to make it it's kind of like a mustache there, huh? And then I'm gonna get real furry. Spike, spike, spike. Draw these spikies all over. Now it is hard to draw around the crack, I will admit, so we'll just do our best. Okay, 
And then you're gonna color in the area between the edge of the eyeball and the outline of the fur. So you're just coloring that all in. And avoid the eyeball area, because we want that to stay white. And another fun thing you can do at home when you have access to maybe some color paper is you can cut these things out. You don't have to color them all. Some of it you can cut out. Oh, or if you had googly eyes, wouldn't that be cute? There's all kinds of fun ways to embellish these. And I think these would be a cute present. If you know somebody's favorite animal, maybe you could look up an origami elephant for them or an origami koala or something like that. And you could make somebody a really special bookmark. Okay, so then I'm gonna get my black marker and I'm gonna get my eyeballs. And then for the teeth, I'm gonna take one of those extra pieces of paper and I'm just gonna make zigzag cuts, so zigzag, little triangle pointy teeth. And then this is, make sure you come up and in because remember you have to leave a little bit of extra paper to glue it. So you want those teeth to be bigger than you think. So like there's the teeth, but then you've got to leave this section so that you can glue that in. And if when you open up your glue, it is yucky and not usable, you could always use some tape. So we glue that underneath. And it's probably a little bit hard to see, but when you find a page and stick it on, and little teeth, you show it, he's super cute. So there's the Yeti. Let's see. So the Yeti's done. We could do our pine tree or our Christmas tree. Um, for the Christmas tree, I thought doing the background with a colored pencil might be a little bit easier so you can use marker for the ornaments. So this one's pretty easy. I'm just gonna scribble it out. So just gonna scribble, scribble, scribble. And the other side. I think this is such a nice gift for somebody who reads. If you have a parent or a guardian or a sibling who loves to read, it's such a fun thing to do and you can mail them. They send really easily in a card to somebody that you care about and maybe haven't been able to see. Um, so I'm just mark her up some little ornaments in whatever colors you prefer. And then I did, I drew a little star and I cut it out and I glued that on. You can do that or not. I'm gonna show you really quickly how to get the Christmas, the, um, the pine tree cut out look. So I'm just gonna go in straight. Once at the top, I'm gonna go in just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit. And then I'm gonna come in at an angle to get that part. And then down below, I'm gonna go in straight again and then come in at an angle. And if those are too small, you can go bigger. If you accidentally go too big, just make another bookmark, no big deal. So go in straight, then come up at an angle. Oh, I can tell mine are not gonna match, but that's okay. I don't think Christmas trees are perfectly symmetrical in real life. Okay, there's our Christmas tree.
Now, for this guy, I thought it would be fun to cut out the nose and glue it on. Um, but if we don't have extra paper, I did start with the nose. So that's just a little, a curve. Scribble it in. And then you could tell that this one I did with marker. So for this next one, I'm gonna try doing it with colored pencil instead. Sometimes I think filling something in with colored pencil can be a little bit easier. So for the eyes, you I always go in and I put the eyes in first. Oh, this is not a very dark brown, is it? Do I have anything darker? Yes. So I'm gonna outline the eyes. My eyes aren't very even. Well, it's up to you what you prefer. I think the marker might look a little nicer, but I think it's easier to fill all that space in with colored pencil. So that's up to you. You get the idea there. You're gonna fill in both sides and you're gonna come back in, put those eyeballs in and then for the antlers, I just drew them out. So I drew, so, and then this is a nice little trick. I kind of did an F shape, but I didn't, you know, cross it all the way. So I did an F and then I did a backwards F and then I bubbled that. So then I kind of turned it into a bubble letter. I don't know if you guys do bubble letters. And then you can color it all in. Marker might be the better option for this reindeer. Or brown paper. If you're at home and you have access to some brown construction paper, then you don't have to draw and color this. You can just cut out two F shapes and use those. And you can even turn the colored paper into your origami. So you could have brown paper to create the reindeer out of and then add the red nose, maybe some googly eyes, or you could cut out the white eyes and put them on. My antlers always turn out smaller than I mean for them to. in there, it doesn't have to be perfect. If it doesn't work out, we just start again. And then you're gonna put a little bit of glue at the bottom of the antler on the brown side. And you're gonna attach that up there. It's glued to my finger instead of the paper. All right, so there we go. There's half a reindeer. I think you get the idea. And I wish you guys all the best. Happy holidays. Have fun making gifts. And I will be back next week with another gift that you can make out of origami for somebody special. All right, I'll see you guys soon.